Good day everyone, today I will be discussing the similar triangles. When we say similar triangles, these are triangles whose vertices can be paired such that their corresponding angles are congruent and their corresponding sides are proportional. So let us use our triangle ABC and triangle XYZ as our example. So let us find out first the corresponding angles. Okay? So corresponding angles, we know that A corresponds to X. So A corresponds to X. B corresponds to Y and C corresponds to Z. Now, if they are congruent, let's say angle A is congruent to angle X, angle B is congruent to angle Y, and angle C is congruent to angle Z. Okay. After checking the corresponding angles and check if they are congruent, now let us proceed to sides. Corresponding sides are proportional. Okay, let us check if our sides are proportional. So AB, AB corresponds, so AB, corresponds to xy 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 cb corresponds to yz cb corresponds to yz or z y and ac corresponds to x z okay now get the ratio of our sides so we get a b over x y the measure of a b is 2 over the measure of x y is 3 okay next c b over z y the measure of CB is 6 over the measure of ZY is 9. Reduce in lowest term, both divisible by 3. So 6 divided by 3, that is 2, over 9 divided by 3, 3. And lastly, AC over XZ. AC measures 4. XZ measures 6. Write this in lowest term, that is 2 over 3. Now we have 2 thirds, 2 thirds, and 2 thirds. So we prove that they are proportional to each other. Now this is what we call the ratio of similarity. The ratio of similarity is 2 over 3. Now we can conclude that triangle ABC is similar to triangle XYZ. Okay. Take note of our symbol similar. So I will put it here similar. We use that symbol. That is our example number one. Now let us proceed to second example. <laughs> now let's have our example number two. Triangle MEN is similar to triangle LAI. List all the corresponding angles and corresponding sides. Determine also the ratio of similarity. Next. Let us find first the corresponding angles. So, corresponding angles. Uh, 
angels. For our angles, the longest side in our triangle MEN is 16. And LAI, the longest side is 48. So, I, so angle I, or I, I corresponds, I corresponds to N. The longest, 16, the opposite of that side is N, so angle N, then 48 corresponds to angle I. Okay. They are congruent. If that's the case, so angle I is congruent to angle N by the definition of similar triangles. Next, angle L or L corresponds to M. So, M. That means angle L is congruent to angle M. And lastly, a corresponds to E. So, angle A is congruent to angle E. Okay. Next, the corresponding sides. So, let's start with the least or the smallest side. MN M, MN corresponds to the shortest side here is LI second to smallest ME corresponds to here is 16 here is the longest so longest here is 48, so AL, AL, and NE corresponds to 36, which is AI. Now after getting the corresponding sides, let us find the ratio. So we have MN over LI. So the measure of MN, MN is 6 over LI is 18. Reduce in lowest term, that is 1 over 3. Next, ME over AR, AL. AL. So ME, ME, that is 16 over AL, AL 48. Divisible by 16, so 1 over 3. And lastly, we have NE over AI. So NE. 12 over AI 36. So divisible by 12, 1 over 3. Now the ratio of similarity is 1 is 2. Ratio of similarity is 1 is 2, 3. Okay, that is our example number 2. Now let's have our example number 3. If triangle TOY is similar to triangle CAR, find the length of RC. So we have our triangle TOY and the corresponding measures and CAR and the given measures. Now in this example, I will give you the shortcut in getting the corresponding angles and corresponding sides. So just notice in the given, so study, we have triangle toy and triangle car. So you can get 
actually the corresponding angle. So angle T is congruent to angle C. Angle O is congruent to the middle angle A. And angle Y is congruent to angle R. And also with our corresponding sides, we have TO. TO that's correspond to CA. So TO CA. If we have o, OY that corresponds to AR. And we have TY that is corresponds to CR. Okay. That is our shortcut. Now study the given. So we have the given measure for OY and TY. So OY in this case, we have OY over AR. And that is equal to, we have TY, so TY over CR. Okay. Now, substitute our given. OY is 12 over AR. AR 54 is equal to TY is 24 over CR X. Now use the properties of proportion. So actually we can cross multiply 12 times X. That will give us 12X is equal to 54 times 24. So multiply 54 times 24, so 16, carry 1, 21, so 2 times 4, that is 8, 10. So we have 6, 9, 2, 1, 1, 2, 9, 6. To get the value of x, divide by 12, 12, so this will become x is equal to, so now divide. 1296 divided by 12. So 1296 divided by 12. So 1296 divided by 12. So 12 divided by 12, that is 1. So 1, 12. Now subtract, bring down 9, add 0, bring down 6. So, 96 divided by 12, that is, so 96 divided by 12, let us check 8, so 16 carry 1, 8, 9, so 8, so 108, so x is equal to 108, so the value of x is 108, that is the measure of RC, that means Land of RC is equal to 1 over. We have our unit, so, so units if you want. So that is the similar triangles. Thank you for watching, Senior Pablo TV.